friends, it's Maura Alyssa here and it's time for science. So today I want to explore with you and see if we can figure out how to make an egg float. So I have a glass filled with water here, just regular water from my sink, and I have a raw egg. So I wanna know what do you think will happen if we put the egg into the water? Any guesses? Hmm, I heard lots of different answers. Let's find out. I'm gonna use a spoon so it doesn't make too big of a splash. All right, let's see what happens. Ah, if you guessed that the egg would sink in the water, you were right, good job. So if you watched my sink or float science experiment a few weeks ago, you will remember that we talked about density and this in this case, we can see that the egg has a higher density to, than the water, and that's why it was heavier and it sank to the bottom. So I'm wondering, is there anything we can do to the water to make it more dense than the egg? Any ideas? Well, I have one. I think I heard some of you say the same idea. There's something we can add to this water. I'm gonna take our egg out first. All right, I'm gonna put this egg in the bowl. And my idea, we're gonna add some salt to the water. As we learned about Israel this week, have any of you heard of the Dead Sea yet? I remember my first trip to Israel, I went to visit the Dead Sea and it's one of the saltiest bodies of water in the whole world. And do you know what happens when people go in a really, really salty water? You float to the top. You get right in the Dead Sea and it's really, really easy to float without even trying. So let's see if we put salt in this water, if our egg can float without even trying. So how much salt do you think we need to add? Hmm, I hear a lot of different amounts. So I think we're gonna start with one teaspoon and we're gonna see what happens. All right, let's give it a try. So here's a teaspoon. There's a nice teaspoon of salt. Let's put it in and we're gonna stir it up a little. So what do you think? Do you think one teaspoon of salt made the water dense enough so that the egg will float in it because the water's heavier this time? Let's find out, I don't know. Let's give it a try. Here we go. Nope, it looks like the egg is still denser and that's why the egg sunk to the bottom. What should we do? That's right, let's add more salt. Let's take out our egg first. All right, we're gonna add another teaspoon. Here we go, stir it in. Look how cloudy it makes the water. Ooh, it's turning white. So what do you think, friends? Is two teaspoons of salt going to do it? Who thinks the egg's gonna float this time? Raise your hand, shout me. All right, I don't know what I think. Maybe, let's find out. Oh, can you see? It's kind of cloudy in there. I thought for a moment that it was going to float, but nope, it's still at the bottom. Let's see if we stir it up a little. Will it start floating? Oh, nope, it keeps going to the bottom. We're gonna take the egg out, but you know what? I think one more teaspoon of salt might do it. Let's see. Here's teaspoon number three. Here it goes. You think it's stirred up enough? All right, let's give it a try. Here we go, the same egg is going in. Who thinks it's gonna float this time? I do, I don't know if I'm right, let's see. Oh my goodness, it stayed right at the top. We added how many? One, two, three teaspoons of salt. And we made our water more dense and heavier than our egg. We did it, friends. We made our egg float. It's amazing. So this is a really easy one for you to try at home. All you need is a glass 
some water, an egg, and some salt. And then a spoon to make it easier to put it in and out, and another smaller teaspoon to measure your salt. So you can give it a try, and maybe you wanna try different things like changing the temperature of your water. You can try it with cold water or hotter water if you have a grown-up helping you. Or maybe you could try it with a hard-boiled egg instead. I have a little secret to tell you. That's also how you can see if your eggs are fresh. If it's a fresh egg, it sinks to the bottom. But if it's an old egg that's getting a little past its prime, it's going to float even without all the salt to help it. So I hope you had fun watching me make an egg float for you. I'll see you next time. Bye.